Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to transpose a data set. So there are two different ways I'm going to show you today. Um, the first way is a more traditional way of transposing rows and columns. Um, let's use the empty cars as an example. So for this way, you need to call the library called data.table. So let's call this library and also get the data for empty cards. So this data set looks like this with cars for each row and all the parameters for each column. So now you use transpose function to put the original data set in the brackets and the new data set we rename it with the T underscore empty cards. So now let's take a look at the structure of the new data set. So it may look a little intimidating because all of the variable names are renamed to be uh, V with a number, it's a vector, and also 11 rows. So this 11 rows actually corresponding to the previous 11 columns. And each column is now turning to, um, no, each rows are now turning to columns. So we need to swap the names for the rows and columns. So this will do the trick. So you use the row name from the original data set to assign it to the new data set's column name and also vice versa. So let's do these two commands and then we take a look at the transpose data set. So now it's much better. So we have um, the column name as the car name for different brand and for each row it's the parameters. So now you fulfill the function for transposing a data set. Another way of doing it is called spread function and gather function. So gather is more like stacking the data together and spread is um, making it to be wide format. So this function is coming from the tidy R package. Um, so let's call these two packages since we need to use the pipe operator from the deplier. Or you can use tidyverse to call all of them in one shot. So we will use a simulated data set called stock. So assuming we have the time point, and this is the price of the three stocks, one x, y, z. So this data set looks like this. Now we wanted to make it like a long format. So it's, um, we call gather stock uh, and also price and by time. So then we will get a long format of the stock summary. So we have the stock as a column, price as another column. And in stock, we have three values, x, y, z. Then you can see the stock and price are the two columns of the data set with three stocks and the price is ordered by time point. So let's go back to the code and now we can use the spread function using stock as the key and price is the value. So as you can see from the um, console, the stock is the column for each stock has a column and the variable time did not show up in this function, but it will be serving as the identifier for each row. You can also spread it using time as a key. So we are spreading the price, the value for each stock by over time. So whatever variable you put first, it, it will become the column in the new data set. I hope this video offers some help and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.